Hello children, how are you all? I hope everybody very very fit and fine and doing proper exercise daily early morning wake up and proper exercise doing and study also right children. So today we are going to learn a new chapter okay before starting the new chapters have you ever seen her photograph anywhere the photograph is showing on the screen everybody look at this photograph can you tell me the name please write in comments what is the name of the person showing this photograph have you ever seen her photograph anywhere who is she all of you give in comment answer so our new chapter we are going to discuss and in this chapter children's we will learn about one of the brave girl who done a very great achievement in her life so everybody get it ready and listen very carefully a new chapters defense officer wahida so that's such a brave girl what about her life we will ask some questions to her and she will give her whole life uh, what she done everything in details so all of you get it ready to know about defense officer wahida what she done in her life so before starting of the new chapter i need to say something about uh, the uniform they wear can you identify which uniform they which armed force uniforms they wearing a indian navy uniform yes children so defense officer wahida she is a doctor in indian navy so indian navy children indian navy is responsible for protecting the country from enemies through the marines borders the indian navy is about 67000 navy respirationals and 150 ships and submarines children's indian navy is one of the important parts of the defense for any country which have the coastal frontier for the country like india the navy has played a vital role in protecting the coastal boundary of india understand everybody talking from the defense point of view children the government of india has given great emphasis for the navy indian navy is only responsible for protecting the country from enemies through the marine boundaries so let's start children we will learn more about defense officer wahida life history so she is lieutenant commander wahida prism yes children so she is lieutenant commander wahida prism and doctor in the indian navy point to be noted children she is a doctor in indian navy and you know what is the responsibilities of doctor everybody know so even she is a commander in uh, indian navy and she is a doctor too she is one of the few women who has worked on a naval ship yes my dear children she is one of the few women who has worked on a naval ship you see she is the first woman to lead a parade you see that your nice uh, things we can get it here that she is the first woman to lead a parade you know parade how uh, let us see the on the screen how the what is the scene of the parade so children this is the picture of uh, women uh, leading a parade and you see uh, wahida prism is the first woman to lead a parade and uh, this is the considered to be a big honor in the armed forces yes children this is a big honor in the armed forces the first woman who led a parades yes of course that's a nice confidence and encouragement to all the 
girl's child all the women uh, really it is a big honor to in the armed forces now children can you identify who is seen this picture write the answer in the comments all of you identify all of you look at the picture very carefully and identify who is seen in this picture given here and write the answer in the comments below i want to see everybody's comments all of you write in the answer in the comments quick now there is a small interview with wahid the prism you see we specially spoke to wahida for this book let us read what we spoke so they are asking few question with wahida prisms and she reply with very nicely watch so first question is wahida tell me us something about your childhood and school so wahida what wahida reply everybody listen i come from a very small village called thana manji this is in rajauri district of jammu and kashmir so point to be noted children where she uh, uh, came from where she stay she is stay in a very small village and the village name everybody underline in your books the village name is thana mandi and where this thana mandi is situated it is situated in which district there is also questions which district rajauri district of jammu and kashmir i did my schooling from a government school yes so see complete her study from government schools and most of the girls from the village study in my school so in that time maximum girls study okay in that school however few of them ever thought of what they would do so few of them is there they ever thought what they do after finishing school they never decide what is their aim what they want to become in future so children write in the comments what you want to become in future everybody write in comments what your uh, aim in life what you want to become in future so you see wahida said i always wanted to become someone special and move forward in life so wahida from childhood onward she always wanted to become someone special she always want to become a special person and move forward in life i was very interested in higher studies she is very much interested children and wanted to complete the 10th class in my area it was a new thing at that time that time you know children that time 10th class passing is a new things at that times you know my mother and father had to face many problems because of this we even had to move out of our village we then went to live with my grandmother in rajauri i did my 12th class from there that time people not allowed girls to do the study in higher classes and uh, move on but wahida shows such a nice uh, talent and see uh, break the walls she break the center walls children and see move on in her life see forward in her life so that is what a very great achievements yes children she is a very confident and very uh, hard working girls and from then her life begins yeah so you see she is the first girl to complete the 10th from the school and after that she move on to her grandmother house in rajauri district okay of jammu and kashmir and she did her 12th class from there that was a very great achievement children and let us see one video to prowl beneath the surface and seek the enemy to take wing from the waters and attack from above in return the ocean gave me opportunities to discover capabilities i never knew i had 
to inspire me for battle. To earn the respect of my country. The Navy gives you more. On the turbulent waters of the ocean, I stand firm in my country's defense. In the ocean's deepest depths, I roam unfettered. above the oceans, I bring my enemy down. As limitless is the ocean, so are my opportunities to make a career out of a calling, to serve the nation with honor, to succeed in battle and in life. Navy gives you more. So the Navy gives you more. Yes, my dear children. What a nice video of Indian Navy children. And who is responsible for protecting the country from enemies through the marine borders. So now it's time to see the few questions. All of you open your classical copy and do it in your classical copy very nicely with black pen questions and blue pen answer.